Hey guys, Ars Peter. We are looking at the Cracking the Vault quest line. This is the next step in the most wanted challenges. And as you know, five gold snake stamps gets you the back bling at the top and you earn the snake stamps by completing seven of the quests below. And you earn infamy and that infamy gets you battle pass rewards from the wee mini pass for this one. So let's get into it. The first one we're going to be looking at is assist in defeating cold-blooded bosses. You need to do this three times. A um, little bit harder than it sounds because these areas are hot zones for player drops. For those either wanting to try and complete the quest or those who are wanting just to get their kill ratios up and killing people trying to do it. Um, so the easiest way I think to do this is jump in, hit the bosses and get out. As long as you do damage and somebody kills them off the back of that, you will complete this challenge as long as you're still alive when it happens. Um, or you can go full tilt and take the boss on. But you need to remember they've got three or four bodyguards with them and there will be other players. Collect gold bars in a single match. Need a total of 500 to complete this one. If you can kill a boss, get the vault key and get into the vault, there should be more than enough uh, gold bars from opening the coffers, the chests and the cash registers. And occasionally there may be a safe in there as well. So you should be able to get your 500 gold bars from that. Taking into account you've probably killed a few bosses um, and the players in and around the area to get into this point, you've probably got more than enough to complete this challenge. Next up we have is collect heisted exotic weapons, seven of these in total. These are slightly different from the normal exotic weapons in the fact that you can only get these from cold bosses and the chests in the vaults. Now there's only a chance in the dropping, they're not guaranteed to come out of the vault chests and coffers, um, but there's a very, very good chance. I think the best one I've had so far was three. So you can do this in as many games as you need to to get those seven completed. You're not having to get them in total. Plus you may also get them from other players when you kill them or find them lying about eliminate opponents with an exotic weapon you need to do five kills no restriction on it so you don't have to do it in a single game um, you can buy exotic weapons from some npcs on the map the heisted exotic weapons also count towards this um, so you know if you can get in and get them off a boss or a dead player then you know make sure you're using these to try and kill other players to get this done as well Next we have is a mode inside a cold-blooded vault. You just need to do this the once, three ways to do it. Kill a cold-blooded boss, take the vault key card and open it yourself. Kill a player with the key card, take it off them and open the vault. Or you can go into the vault after someone has already been and opened it. All you need to do once you're inside is emote it and those are your options to get this one done. Next up we have is open up a cold blooded vault using a vault key card. Only need to do this the once and there's a number of ways you can complete this. Kill the boss, take the key card from them, kill a player before they get the chance to use it and then open up the vault with it. Um, one thing to be mindful of is if somebody drops the key card, i.e. the boss gets killed but no one picks it up, a player gets killed and doesn't pick it up, then it will show up on your map HUD as a small card, so make sure you're keeping an eye out for that. Next is search cold-blooded coffers. You need to do this five times. The coffers are inside the vault, and they are the rather large, um, long-looking chests. We've seen different variations of this over previous seasons, and you need to do this five times. So at the very least, you need to get into a vault three times. After that, we have search supply drops. Um, you need to do this twice. The supply drops are the crates that come out of the sky on the big balloons. They also have the themed ones in the game as well, and they should count towards that completion as well. And last up, we have spend gold bars, 5,000 in total. Number of ways you can do this, buy things from NPCs, upgrade your weaponry, use burner payphones. Um, easiest and quickest way if you have the money already to spend is to throw four heat purchases at a burner payphone and that'll take 2,000 out of your inventory very, very quickly. Okay guys, that is the video. As you can see, everything is vault related in one way or the other, which makes today's quests very, very frustrating and will probably take you a good bit of time to get them done. But remember, we still have seven days to complete these ones. So, you know, keep at it. Anyway, guys, that is the video. Please drop a like on it. Comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you are kept in the loop on all completion guides as well as review videos just like this one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.